What is cognition in simple terms? And what's the difference between cognition and thinking? In this video, you'll hear from master level certified cognitive coach, Andrea Pittman, as she explains what cognition is and is not. Hey, it's Clint with Sandstone Care, where we help teens, young adults, and their families overcome challenges that come with substance use, addiction, and mental health conditions. All right, let's get right to it. So cognition is actually a really big word. A couple of years ago, in terms of a big word, in terms of like it means a lot of different things to different people. And a couple of years ago, it was actually the most searched word on Google for the year in 2019. It would, they always say what their word of the year was and cognitive or cognition was was the word of the year. So, um, so a lot of people do ask this question. And um, what we're referring to are the thinking processes. So it's how your brain takes takes in and processes and makes sense of and then utilizes information. So think of it, your cognition is kind of like your brain's um, processor, just like your computer has a processor. And that processor is always running in the background. It's what allows you to take in information, store it, retrieve it, make sense of it, all of those things I just mentioned. Um, and the, your brain is the same and your cognitive skills or your cognition is what allows you to do that. Your cognition is actually what makes up your eye Q, your intelligence quotient, which some of us have heard of. Um, and so it's our thinking skills. If you want to learn more about treatment options for you, your teen or young adult, then tell us about your situation on a confidential call using the number linked up in the description box below or live chat with us at sandstonecare.com. We'll connect you with the treatment that you need. And if we're not the right fit, we'll get you where you need to go. Be well and remember that change is possible.